Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Anne Soren. I'm a singer, songwriter, vocal producer, vocal coach, and I'm here to help you get the best out of your voice. Don't forget to like and share this video. Hit that notification bell, subscribe to my channel if you love music, if you love singing, and you like watching singing tips and exercises videos. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to see you here today because today I'm going to teach you how to sing Adele, someone like you with vowels. And I chose this song just to show you how to do it, but you can apply it to any other song. So before I jump in, I want to explain why you need to sing the song with the vowels first before singing it with real lyrics. In our speaking language, we tend to emphasize, we tend to stress the consonants in order to make people understand what we're trying to say, all right? So for example, if I have to say, never mind, I'll find someone like you, right? So if I try to sing it like that, never mind, I'll find someone like you, it's gonna sound terrible. So if we're trying to sing that same phrase, we have to make sure our vowels are a little bit longer and our consonants are softer and not getting in the way of those vowels. So compare. Never mind, I'll find someone like you, like you. Or never mind, I'll find someone like you. Much better, right? So why does it sound so bad when we're keeping our consonants and we're pronouncing them harder? Just because they're short sounds. Think of them like barricades or barriers on the way of the vowel. So we have to make sure we are getting rid of them. They, they only contain air and they don't have any melody in them. We can't sustain a consonant. Try saying it with the G or uh, try saying it with the B or G. So there's no melody. We can't phonate them with the exception of a few consonants in English language, but I don't want to go deep into it today. I'll make another video that I will dedicate to vowels and consonants, all right? So to get a smooth melodic line in your vocals, you have to keep your vowels a bit longer, keep singing them until the end of the note, and only in the very end pronounce your consonant. Just like, um, um, or never. So almost even sometimes we don't even have to pronounce them. In certain words, you can just skip pronouncing those consonants. Yeah, we have to make sure we are singing our vowels. I will not get tired of repeating this again and again. I am all about the vowels. Make sure it is long and nice and clean. So I heard that you're settled down, that you found a girl and you're married now. Notice how I'm not closing it. I'm not even thinking about it. Oh, now, now. Because that will close your sound. That will stop the flow of the air that will make your First vowel, very shaky. So guys, in our singing, we're using five main vowels, which are A, E, I, O, U. So we have to make sure we have a great placement, we have a good placement for each one of them. But besides that, we have to make sure they blend in with each other well. And that's why I recommend singing the songs with vowels. You have to understand first how to connect one vowel to another and how not to put them into different frames let's say for example if we're singing um so again from the same song for example we're singing i heard that you're settled down that you found a girl and you're married now so that would make it very different right so one vowel from another that will make uh, one vowel stand out and then others are small and you have to imagine you're singing through a round 
prism, let's say, a round um, shape. So placing all the vowels into the same place. Basically using the path of least resistance to connect those vowels, to pronounce them and connect them together, shape them like that together. So it's, I, oh, see, I'm, min I'm moving my jaw minimally, not using any muscles. I am not uh, pushing it. So compare it to I, oh, see, I did it minimally, but still kind of my E was out of this whole shape. So or I, 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 oh, can you feel the difference? Let me know in the comments. So when singers are singing their vowels in different places, and didn't do the work on vowels, the listener hears the sounds that are out of the shape and it's very irritating to the ear. So sometimes we don't even understand why uh, some singers, uh, they seem to have a very nice voice, very great, pleasant voice, high range, but why are we getting irritated by their singing? And those are those little things that make a big difference in your singing. So when you're practicing singing songs with vowels, make sure you're using main five vowels that we have for singing. A, E, I, O, U. And write down your lyrics just using those five vowels. Yes, there are more vowels in English, but we have to make sure we place them in the shape of one of those five vowels. Let's say, for example, if we're uh, if we have a word girl or we have a word, word uh, burn, right? So we have to girl, we have to pronounce girl. So it's oh and ah, oh, ah, oh, or oh, depends on what vowel it stands next to. And also if, for example, we have a word burn, it's the same story here. So we have to pronounce burn as if we're pronouncing ah, burn on a high note especially, all right? So guys, finally, I will show you now how to sing your songs with vowels only. You don't have to be precise. It's just approximately. This is how to sing Adele, someone like you, with vowels. Let me know if you tried it, if it worked, and also let me know what other song do you want me to break down and sing with vowels only. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell because I upload new videos every week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Woohoo!